for species like tar. Question number nine, the Honourable Nikki Kay. Question to the Minister of Education. Is she confident of the government's spending priorities in the education portfolio? The Mr. Honourable Speaker. Tracy Martin. Yes, but is she confident in the previous government's spending, Order. considering the disaster we were in? Order. Right. What we're going to have is we're going to have that answer again, a straight answer without a flick. Yes. <laughs> Mr Speaker, supplementary question. Why did the government prioritise $2.8 billion for tertiary students instead of providing adequate funding to get a settlement for primary teachers? First of all, there was no negotiations for a settlement for primary teachers at the time that this government passed the legislation or passed their $2.8 billion for students. Secondly, many of the students are actually teachers, and this government believes that taking away crippling debt from our young people is worthy. Mr Speaker, supplementary question. If primary teachers reject the government's offer today, will she prioritise spending for parents who can't take time off work or find childcare during the strikes? It would be preemptive of me to decide what the NZDI will do with the negotiations they are currently in. Point of order. That was not. I it was did a not hypothetical assume. question, hypothetical and, there's no, question. No, and there's no requirement to answer it. Nikki Kay. Supplementary question. Will she reverse the government's new position regarding delaying maternity grants to teachers, given the harsh impact on new mums and dads? Mr Speaker, it would be irresponsible of me to discuss negotiations in this House, and I would have thought a previous Minister of Education would actually know that. Mr Speaker, supplementary question. Will the government prioritise additional spending to ensure parents do not face multiple primary and secondary strikes over the coming months. Mr Speaker, it would be irresponsible of a Minister of this House to stand up and talk about negotiations and other money or any other thing while there are negotiations underway, and I would have thought a previous Minister of Education would have known that. Jean Tonetti. What investment has this government made to address the teacher supply pressures that had built up over nine years? Speaker, when we took office, teachers were demoralised and many of them had left the profession. The number of young people going into teacher training had dropped by 40 per cent and classrooms were regularly doubled up as teachers uh, couldn't be found to fill the places. To date, we have funded over 1,000 enrolments in teacher education refreshment programme to remove the cost barriers so teachers can stay in and return to teaching. We have seen the approval of almost 190 overseas relocation grants. We have expanded the Auckland Beginning Teacher Programme to 60 places in 2018 and further 60 in 2019. We have increased the number of new teacher training through Teach First to 80 in 2018 and in 2019 and made 300 teachers who started their teaching in 2018 eligible for the voluntary bonding scheme. This is a start to what we are doing to assist to repair the damage done over the last nine years. Question number 10, Greg O'Connor. Uh, Mr Speaker, to the Minister of Police, what recent announcements